they were like Saturday morning, excuse me, Saturday afternoon matinees, you know, okay. and yes, it was a boys medium, but so what, you know, it's just, it's just what they were. And so all you had was action and fighting. Then you had your personal stories, whoever had a girlfriend, mm -hmm. you know, or a boyfriend or problems at work. It had this, um, this, uh, cover of Superman that was drawn by one of my favorite artists, John Romita Jr. Mm -hmm. And Superman's knuckles were skinned, his costume was ripped. Um, you know, his he had a fat lip, black eye. And I bought the book right away. Got home, not a single fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, and these comic books are like now $5. Now you're laughing, but I got to tell you that when I was a kid, they were 25 cents. Hmm. So if you if you wasted 25 cents, it's like, eh, who cares? Yeah. But now it's five dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of money for something like that. Man. Yeah. I was just like, nah, that's not working for me. So so I mean, yeah, but... you know, I, I don't I don't <laughs> like that. Uh something you said earlier that I tell Jerry all the time. Um, when you say like in the comics now, they like talk too much. Jared has me reading Immortal X Men and every comic they just sitting in that boardroom talking, voting yeah. on stuff. I'm like, man, I was like, I'm bored. Exactly. Like, where the fight's at? Somebody throw some hands, please. <laughs> but exactly. I liked it. I liked it because in Immortal, they were all extremely powerful mega level mutants, and they were talking about the um ongoing struggle and an overview of everything mm -hmm. within the mutant world. So I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the political aspect of uh, Immortal X Men, though. So, yeah, yeah, I feel like you can mix that with something else. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think um, you know you can't forget what kind of business this is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, it's entertainment to be sure, but it's also action oriented. And you know, I don't think you need. You know, you can have those kinds of conversations, but they need to be balanced with a certain amount of action. Um, do you guys know who Denny O'Neill is? Mm -hmm. No, tell so, me. So, okay, so Denny O'Neill um, was a uh, fantastic writer for DC. He worked for mm -hmm. Marvel too, but he did most okay. of his seminal work at DC. You know, he did the uh, the famous uh, um, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, you know, run. Yeah. Uh, where they talk a lot of politics, this, that, and the other. 